All right, this is so damn cool. Somebody built a jet engine and we're about to fire that thing up. This is right up my alley. I always wanted to have a jet engine on my bicycle or on my go-kart. This thing is huge and I'm sure it's gonna be loud. I'm not sure what the function is or why they have it. It probably came out of a, a commercial jetliner like as an APU for providing electric power when the, when the plane is sitting on the tarmac. Look, they got their special purpose anti-hearing. Okay, they got a leaf blower. Maybe they're gonna do a head to head run. Leaf blower versus 10,000 horsepower jet engine. You can see they've got it staked in the ground. I'm the only idiot standing up here. I wonder if these people know something that I don't. When it comes to the turbine engines, you just want to you don't want to be standing at a right angle in case one of the blades ah, 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 penetrates ah. the housing. All right. Maybe he's going to use this to start it. God damn! Holy You know, this is like a ramjet. different type of technology this is a kind of this is a kind of engine that was on old the original I, I think I need to look at this but I think this is the same type of engine that was on the very first fighter aircraft in World War II so it has to be moving in order to run they're using the leaf blower to provide the airflow holy cow when I hold my ears Gunner's
gonna ride it? Yeah, we need uh, some more power. And two minutes. You can sit on that thing. Where, where did he get it? They built it by self. It looks like a ramjet. Super awesome. This is a ramjet. It is. From the very beginning. This is like the very beginning. Like the First World, World War. That Second World War was the very first fighter jets had this. I mean, it looks just like it. It's way cool. So evidently they need more power and a couple of minutes to cool it down. Too loud is just right. This is a perfect demo for the DB drag racing community. I wonder what his neighbors think about this. Can you imagine this guy? He's working in his garage building a, a ramjet. When I was a kid, I always wanted to build a, a go-kart or something with a jet engine. But I was thinking about these small ones. There used to be these ads in comic books for these small jet engines that had like 20 or 50 pounds of thrust. I even tried to acquire one of those APU jet engines from a from a company at the Oshkosh fly-in and they said that that's not possible. Everything is like serialized and they don't sell to consumers. But I'll bet you if you tried hard and you found an old, uh, an old jet, you could probably retrieve one. All right, here we go. I'm gonna... I wish I would have metered that. <laughs> That's crazy. It's a great thing. You know, in World War II, they called these things buzz bombs, and that's why you, you I'm sure you couldn't hear it because I'm I'm sure it overloaded the mic in my in my cell phone, but it made an incredibly loud 50, 60 hertz uh, tone from the engine. It's uh, they were also called pulse jets. You can see the heat waves radiating off of it right now. Actually, I can feel it, and I'm about 10, 15 feet away. I am not going to stand behind it. Nothing. It's really just a controlled detonation. So the way it works, you know, once the air is flowing through it, pulses of fuel just go right inside the combustion chamber and then there is, then it's ignited. In fact, on the top, you can see a spark plug that's used to ignite the fuel. There are really no turbines or anything in this type of jet engine. It's just a rocket. 
uh, this is a rocket engine is what it is. <laughs> anyway, way cool. Lots of creativity here. And this, this is definitely super cool for me. Thanks for watching.